We are a leading e-seller of developer and infrastructure tools. And again, you can find out a little more about us on our website at www.programmers.com. Um, we have team development services. This is our world view that again can be viewed on our website. Um, with that, right now I'm going to hand it over to Ahmad and actually Harold might be joining in us also. And they could do the demonstration and the presentation. So over to you, Ahmad. I'm going to change you right now. Thank you, and uh, welcome again to uh, this presentation. My name is Imad, and I will present you the Blue Edge product, and especially the, the mo model to code product, and we will see in more detail all uh, the transformation uh, principles and uh, the transformation process for uh, this uh, product. So um, I will start just by uh, a presentation of the model-driven development principles. Why now? And would it generate 100% of the source code? And also talking about uh, the business logic, business rules, workflows, business uh, requirements, how we can define these uh, specifications and how we can generate all the source code of this application. And we'll illustrate uh, all these design methods by M2 Spring product to generate Spring uh, enterprise application and enhance uh, the standard project description specifications, etc. So <clears throat> the model driven principle is about uh, generating all the source code of, of the applications, target enterprise applications from models. Models will uh, specify all the business specification requirements, business logic, business rules, workflows, and uh, the product implementation for the model-driven architecture will uh, generate the source code of the application. So this, uh, this uh, approach can uh, separate uh, the technical description from the, the business specifications. So here we have a separation of concerns from uh, from the the business uh, description and the target technical architecture, which uh, adds more agility, flexibility, and extensibility of uh, the target architecture, but also in evolving the business processes. So, why why now? Why we can uh, talk about modeling and development now? For uh, so we can uh, we can separate uh, 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 the reasons on two. The first one is the maturity of the modeling technology using UML and DSL. So uh, uh, we can using this notation we can specify and easily specify any kind of business requirements and business logic. So we can based on this. Uh, notations and in the line frameworks technology to transform to validate transform and generate the source code of this application and on the other hand we have the technical implementation standards so now everyone every organization and enterprises uses frameworks to implement their business applications Frameworks, when we talk about frameworks, well, we think about Hibernate, EGB, uh, uh, GSF, Struts, and Spring, the subjects of this presentation. So all the frameworks can help uh, uh, developers to, uh, to implement and offer uh, 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 standards, norms, and best practices to implement this uh, the target uh, applications in a specific enterprise architecture. So this can uh, uh, help uh, um, in this uh, generation process because we have all the specification and implementation patterns to generate the source code of this application. So when we have uh, the way to specify all the business needs requirements and we have uh, a formal specification and standards, frameworks, patterns to implement the source code, the target source code, we can apply this MDD approach 
to specify the business logic using the UML annotation, for instance, and based on the technical frameworks, we can generate the source code of this application. So all the question is about, is it possible to specify business process, activities, transactional processes, algorithm, etc., to generate all the technical architecture implementations, including uh, rich internet applications, for instance, web, JAX support, AGB, Hibernate, GPE, etc. So the question is, is it possible to model all this specification, all this requirement, and is it possible to generate it on my target architecture using the framework implementation, etc. So the answer is yes, we can. We can do it because we have a set of tools to assist model driven development with rich tooling based on Eclipse, the platform integration platform, and using the meta and modernization uh, approach that can offer tools uh, uh, to validate, to interpret, to transform models and manipulate models based on te uh, transformation technologies and frameworks. The model to model transformation and also the model to code transformation based on template generation. And we can, using this set of tools, we can generate 100% of the source code. When we are talking about MDD approach, we are thinking about generating all the source code so that we cannot manage an MDD approach when we are uh, generating just a piece of code and adding by hand by kind of classical development approach all the, the business uh, uh, the business requirement implementation. We uh, also have some features using this set of tools to validate the model, to validate the inputs from the model and not uh, uh, from the source code. We can validate, we can put some uh, breakpoints, we can uh, execute step-by-step -step application but from the model. All this, 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 this uh, tools and these approaches, standards, are based on proven technologies, uh, UML, EMF, or Active Modeling Framework, ECO, transformation languages, etc., and also uh, some, some Eclipse projects uh, with a large community and active community uh, that uh, evolve these specifications and these technologies. We can also speed up project delivery using this approach with short iterations because we are generating the source code, generating the application, not only uh, 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 generating a piece of code, but generating all the application we can execute and we can go back to the final users, the, 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 the analysis and the concept, 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 concept all the, the, the to, 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 to validate the conception uh, using the UML, we can uh, we can also uh, 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 implement continuous integration using this approach by uh, automated build, test, and deployment. So we can validate the model by executing the application. We will not uh, uh, validate only the conception using the UML diagram, but we will validate it on the generated source code target source code and executing this, uh, this source code. We can also uh, have a flexible and extensible design because we are using UML and UML can be extended by using UML profiles. We'll talk about this, uh, this on, uh, later on this presentation, how to extend the UML models, how to extend the way we design, the way we specify, etc. This approach is uh, based on, uh, on, agile, uh, on agile methodology and agile conception. So we can have this agility because we are generating the source code, we are generating the application. So we can uh, specify short iteration, one iteration, and one iteration you have the analysis, the design, the design from the UML and the design from the user interfaces and just generate, test, and integrate the situation. So we can imagine in a project, we can have results on the first iterations and we are not uh, waiting for uh, many months to see the results, to see the execution of the application. And we can integrate this process on a classic configuration and change management 
So this is the key uh, uh, to team development that will, uh, uh, that will work in a collaborative environment to generate the source code and validate and iterate on the model until the final result. So in this uh, 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 UML description, we have uh, a use case centric uh, uh, um, design or modernization. Uh, this means that for each iteration, we will uh, start by uh, defining the use case, the use case description, and from this we can uh, we can add uh, and specify all all the uh, all the the, the, the the user interface specification, the constraint, the business logic, performance requirement, also for the generation of the source code, the target technical architecture, the business rules, etc. So from one use case of one iteration, we can generate all the source code of the application. So from this, we can specify <coughs> all the business execution and business specifications in more detail to generate the source code. So we can design uh, 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 all the requirements using activity diagrams, and the common objective is to describe the user's activities and detail the execution of these use cases and using and extend by extending these activity uh, uh, diagrams to use uh, process diagrams to describe more complex uh, business rules or business logic or uh, 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 detail workflow execution for instance so we can use these diagrams to specify it in more uh, details. The class diagram to specify the business entities and business object relationships and their situations, multiplicity and in more details all the attributes of each entity. This can be, uh, uh, this will be used to generate all the persistence implementation. So we use this class diagram to specify all the, the business entities, etc., for uh, for the target application and uh, extend this uh, design by using UML profile. Uh, uh, UML profile is a, a kind of package uh, that extends a reference meta model. This means that the UML meta model uh, defines a set of diagrams and as, uh, and as I show you in this uh, model driven approach, we use only three diagrams, use case diagram, activity diagram, and class diagram. But we can extend this meta model, this, this, this diagrams by using a set of uh, UML profiles with a set of stereotypes and meta classes to enrich, to annotate, and to extend the way we specify. So, for instance, we, for, uh, for each UML element and for UML element, uh, element I mean, uh, class diagram, association, multiplicity. Uh, an activity diagram, etc. So for each UML element, we can uh, uh, add stereotype or target value to uh, to enrich or, or to, to to annotate this element, this element, and uh, we can interpret it and transform it to specific implementation. So here, for instance, you have uh, some uh, examples of uh, 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 the UML profiles used in M2 Spring. Uh, for instance, here to specify a web service, you can just add a client web service and server web service if you want to define this kind of web services into a service interface or service operation defined on the new model. And uh, M2Spring will automatically generate the implementation, the deployment description, and and the wizard, et cetera, to implement the web services and deploy the, 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 the web services, et cetera. So this is uh, 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 all the, uh, uh, the, 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 the way we use this UML profile to, uh, to annotate and enrich uh, the same way we can use for services and operations as interfaces for the UML, uh, uh, UML description. So we can uh, use, for instance, the, the, all the kind of services we want to create, copy, uh, create, create, or delete, or process, login, logout, for instance, for uh, managing all this authentication and securities for, uh, for the applications, etc. 
So the question is, can models generate 100% of, of business logic? And for this, we have three major uh, uh, questions. The first one is, is it possible for us to generate 100% of the business rules? And what about the flexibility combined to manual writing uh, tools and how to avoid round trips? So we can do this by many ways. First one is to uh, add external files into MC Spring file merge by uh, fi uh, transformation process and by adding the file merging principle. This means that if you have a specific implementation, if you have some uh, archives uh, or jars, Java archives to add that you want to add to the generated source code, you can do it by adding it to the transformation workflow as I will show you in the demonstration. You can extend your, uh, your UML diagrams by adding some business process uh, diagrams, uh, by adding uh, some uh, BP, BP, BPM and people generation web services. You can also use external business rules uh, serve execution servers or using DSLs for uh, domain specific languages to specify a business, uh, specific business rules, etc. So we can, uh, you, you can add on the MC Spring uh, 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 workflows some DSLs to specify uh, your language, your specific DSL, your specific syntax, and this will automatically generate the the, 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 the validators, the editors, and the transformators to generate your source code. So you can add the, 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 this uh, existing files, existing specification, existing uh, uh, services operation, or existing algorithm implementation, or specific implementation as a, a Java archive, for instance, for MC Spring by uh, uh, merging and adding this m spring implementation, uh, a specific implementation to the m spring transformation workflow that details all the transformation uh, uh, principles. You can add also uh, specific services in the UML diagram so you, uh, you have just to specify a specific uh, a stereotype for uh, uh, an interface uh, models as an operation or as a service, and you can uh, uh, specify the signature of the service, and m 2 Spring will generate the, the associated source code and will automatically put the, the right implementation on the right uh, 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 service implementation at, on the generated uh, source code. So. We, uh, we can you extend also all the UML use diagrams, for instance, by adding sequence diagram, activity process diagram, etc., and uh, 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 using some uh, uh, decisions or, or, or loops, uh, if, else, loop, for, while, etc. So we can uh, uh, extend the way we design, the way we specify by adding this. Uh, this element to uh, to the the, 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 the the existing diagrams and are uh, uh, offering more flexibility uh, uh, to to the users, the final users, to specify their needs and business needs, business requirements, etc. Here we have an example of an activity process diagram to specify. Uh, 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 a complex business rule and detailed specification uh, by adding iterations, by adding, uh, uh, by adding decisions, etc., by adding some business rules uh, specification. So here we have in more detail the way to express to specify a complex business rules and offering. Uh, uh, agility in the specification, we can iterate on the model, we can see the result, we can validate the result by executing the source code. And this way is an uh, 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 intuitive way to specify this business rules. And even for non-IT people, I mean, the implementation will be generated, you don't, you don't have to know about how to configure Spring, how to configure the 
the, 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 the beans, the services, and the contacts for spring. You have just to specify your business, your business rules, your business requirements and needs. And uh, M2Spring will automatically generate the source code. You can use uh, some external uh, business, uh, business rules in Jine or servers to execute and uh, 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 for external orchestration, orchestration of the complex rules, we can uh, can use web services and simply uh, define this uh, this uh, uh, orchestrations workflows or web services by adding annotations and M2 Spring will generate the source code. You can also add some DSLs uh, by textual DSLs to specify your uh, your uh, business requirements and uh, uh, extending uh, the, the the business process uh, activity diagrams. You can also use uh, 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 dynamic activations uh, from uh, graphical user interface to change your deployed uh, uh, deployed business rules only on the external uh, business rules manager server and you don't need to recompile or redeploy your uh, your application because you decide to uh, uh, to deploy these rules uh, uh, and externalize these rules on, on on a different server so this uh, offer uh, uh, a more flexibility and agility on the execution process so here we have for instance an example of this uh, external management of the, the, the business processes and business rules and the way we make we, we link this description on the UML activity process diagram and the generated source code managed by the external server etc so here we have we can see all the execution and services etc so why we are talking about MDD and model driven development isn't as way enough, and this question is uh, is very interesting because we uh, uh, when we talk about S way or service oriented architecture, we are thinking about services and uh, offer and all the, uh, the, 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 the all the application or the enterprise uh, services. Uh, uh, externalized and available for all the applications, but using model-driven development and, and, uh, and the generation processes, you can have, uh, you can manage these services, you can reuse these services, and you can have a library of assets of the, the, the business services, available services, and exposed services that you can add, that you can use on your uh, business enterprises and uh, you can manage them, you can combine many existing services and you can execute them. You can also uh, 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 expose new web services. So the MDD is not uh, a new approach or new technology, it's uh, just best practices and the new way to develop based on the same uh, uh, organization or the same, uh, the same um, implementation, existing best practices, development recommendation, etc. What is, is, which is different uh, using this approach is that first you will model all the business requirements and not, uh, 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 and not only have uh, assets by uh, on, on existing applications without documentation, uh, etc. So here you will model, you will design, and based on your, on this design, you will generate the source code and not implement by a classical approach or by a, a manual implementation. You will generate based on template, generate the source code of this application. So the big picture of the MDD is Everything is modeled, uh, the user interface, the, the, the services, the data model, any piece of your application will be modeled and designed as a model. And everything is independent from code, from the source code, from the target technology. So 
As you will see on the demonstration, we generate an application using M2 Spring with the Spring implementation, Spring imp project, Spring context, all this generated automatically from a model that is independent from the technology and by using uh, uh, some UML diagrams, you can generate the tool for this application. Each model is represented in a library, uh, uh, in an stack library, uh, 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 and uh, 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 all the knowledge, all the business knowledge, the business requirements will be modeled and stored in this model and the reference of your business, of your application and information system will be designed and will be more modeled once and generated for any technology, for your existing technology now and for your future evo evolution uh, 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 and, and frameworks evolution and new technologies, new frameworks, etc. So here you have the new application, the, the update, the enterprise architecture, and with an agile approach uh, with the, the, the solution focused, you can generate the applications and you can capitalize on the stable assets to define and generate your, uh, your, your, your target applications and change, evolve your technology, evolve your technical environment, technical architectures, etc., and regenerate the source code to uh, 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 confirming to these new technologies and make this asset available of your users but you will capitalize on this on this description, on this business process, because you can evolve the processes from this uh, 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 assets, from these libraries, by evolving the models, but also by evolving the technologies, and we have a real separation of concerns from the business and the technical architecture. So uh, now uh, we go to the demonstration, and for the, this demonstration, we see uh, 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 in, in, in a demo application the generation process. So uh, now I will share uh, the M2 Spring environment. So here I share my M2 Spring environment. And here, as you can see, this is uh, an Eclipse-based environment. So all the M2 Spring tools, views, editors, and generation packages are available as Eclipse plugins. And here, as you can see, we have specific perspectives. We have specific projects, wizards, editors, etc. So here we have a demo application and uh, with a transformation workflow. On the transformation workflow, we have the technical description, detailed description of the target architecture, uh, Hibernate, Spring, uh, using web services, struts implementation, but also all the all the detailed implementation and libraries, versions for Hibernate, for instance, for struts, uh, for the target uh, uh, um, server, uh, the project types, generated types, and natures, etc. Here we have, for instance, for the Hibernate implementation, we have all the, uh, uh, the properties, public properties, that you can customize, the connection URL, the, the, the username, password, but also uh, the station and the cascade management, uh, the catch management, etc. So you can customize all uh, all these properties, and this will automatically impact and customize the, the generation of the source code and the generated uh, source code. So uh, here we have all the information about the target platform. Uh, this is uh, a model, and here we have a specific editor uh, from this model. And uh, uh, this model is also called the platform description model and used to generate, to transform uh, the, the, the initial model for the business requirements to source code by, by executing model-to-model transformations and model-to-code transformations. 
After this, we have a, a, a markup follow with uh, the, 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 the markup description. So by using a, a graphical editor, specific graphical editor, uh, you can uh, customize. So here, for instance, you, you can customize the input text. You can customize HTML. Uh, uh, generated uh, the HTML description for the user interfaces. So basically, on a transformation process, we uh, we use HTML files. So here, for instance, we have HTML files, the static uh, markup description, and you will add some specific tags, for instance, to uh, uh, to identify dynamic components, for instance. Uh, button or link with a specific identifier that we will retrieve on the UML model. Here we have the model, the exported model from the UML modeling tool. So we will use an external UML modeling tool. Uh, uh, M2Spring is not uh, uh, offering a specific modeling tool, but we are based on UML and you can use uh, the modeling tool. Uh, uh, to specify uh, existing modeling tools to specify this, uh, the business requirements and the UML model and export using standard format uh, XMI or EMF. And uh, on the M2Spring product, uh, we have a, a bundled version of Magic Draw UML modeling tool uh, version 16, uh, uh, which is a UML uh, modeling tool offering. Uh, uh, many uh, 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 useful functionalities and ease of use uh, um, features to design the UML diagrams and validate them, them confirming to the, the, the OMG standard. So here we uh, can just execute this transformation workflow to generate uh, generate the source code. You can check your uh, the, the, the the BSPs. Uh, choose the target PS generation cartridge. So BSP stands for Blue Shirt plugins to generate the source code. Each plugin or generation cartridge will execute a model to model transformation and the model to code. The model to code would generate the source code based on generation template. So let's see uh, the mo the the Magic Draw UML modeling tool and uh, the used uh, diagrams to generate the source code. So here we can, uh, we will specify some uh, packages, uh, the business packages to define the entities. So here we have the application entities and you can also specify services as interfaces so here for the mission, we can uh, specify all the services. For each service, we will add new stereotypes. So here, for instance, we have a find by ID stereotype. We have create, delete stereotype. All these stereotypes are defined on the loaded UML profile. So here for services, we have all the code operations, but also some, uh, uh, for instance, here, uh, extracting uh, uh, data, uh, offering RSS flow, XML flow, uh, uh, managing login, logout, uh, iteration, decisions, etc. and for complex uh, uh, business modeling. And here, for instance, we can uh, use some uh, uh, activity diagrams with uh, server-side execution by adding some operations and activities, but also the user interaction from uh, the user interface. So here we have the login user interface and we have an action. This action is identified with, by this ID, which, what we will define and specify on the, uh, on the user interface by adding a, a specific stereotype. And here we uh, we can add some other uh, uh, services or operations by adding new uh, new uh, activity process diagram. And here you can add some decision nodes. Uh, you can have some iterations by defining an expansion region. 
and uh, uh, all the interaction and workflow execution for the services. So here we have a first service, a second one, etc. You can use some pin in and pin out to define the, uh, and share uh, a business object instance be between all the executed services and the operations, etc. So here we have all uh, 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 the way to uh, 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 in, uh, and all the way to specify the business rules and the business requirements. From this, you can extract uh, extract the, uh, the, 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 the the model and uh, in EMF or UML to uh, XMI format and integrate this. On the blue, on the on the M2 Spring environment, uh, and here you can execute the transformation workflow. So, I will show you uh, the result uh, of this application from uh, from this model, and uh, log on to uh, this application. Okay, and here as you can see, we have customers management. You can see uh, the details for these customers. We can uh, see. Uh, uh, all the missions, temporary employees, uh, the same way we can see the detail of these temporary employees and the sign the missions, etc. So here we have uh, uh, the detailed execution of this application, and all this application is uh, source code is generated from uh, uh, from this model, from this model description by using the activity diagrams to specify all the interaction between the users and the users' uh, uh, operation execution, and also uh, the class diagram from the entity description. So if uh, uh, I should go back to uh, the application source code uh, uh, to see in more detail the generated source code. So here, for instance, we have the entity services and web uh, projects, so three projects are specified in the transformation workflow. You can see the entity description, and here we have uh, um, the, the Hibernate implementation, all the entities uh, description, all the business objects implementation, and uh, uh, the finders, DIO, data access object finder, finders, and implementation finders, uh, uh, and the Spring uh, application context description and provider. Okay, so on the service package, we have all the services as modeled and designed. So here we have all the services description. We have also all the security authentication based on JAS as a CG implementation. Uh, and uh, here we have all the implementations uh, generation generated automatically also. If we see on the web uh, project, we have all the configuration files. Uh, so here we have the uh, the struts means struts config configuration files also generated by Blue Edge. We have all the application context uh, description. So here we have all the filters of the applications. Uh, uh, generated automatically. We have the, the, the main application config with uh, uh, the import the imports of all the resources, generated resources, etc. And we have also uh, we have also the uh, the GSPs or Struts implementations. And as you can see here, we generate and we transform the HTML uh, input files, the static. Uh, implement the static description and the static uh, uh, implementation and specification on dynamic web interfaces uh, using struts and GSPs. So here, uh, if for instance I see the customer's implementation, here we have the generated uh, GSP, and here we have all the struts tags. So here we have, for instance, all the just panel display panel here and here we have the generated GSP. So we generate all these projects from the transformation workflow description 
for the technical target architecture and from the model designed model from this uh, this uh, description so uh, I will show you just uh, a brief also a brief demonstration for uh, for the same application from the same business description using another product which is M2 Flex with Flex uh, uh, Flex interface and uh, using the same input model. So here, if I share my M2 Flex product integrated with Flex Adobe Flex Builder, you can generate from the same model the same uh, business description and using Flex and MXML uh, user interfaces defined and designed by Flex, uh, Adobe Flex uh, Builder. So here the difference between uh, the M2 Spring inputs is that we are using uh, rich internet user interfaces, so the inputs will not be HTML input, but uh, uh, MXML input to generate the source code and here using this product you can uh, uh, you can generate a flex application by executing in the using the same principle you can execute a transformation workflow and here you can see on the console you can see all the detail of the generated source code and uh, execute this application execute this the source code uh, 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 the same way on the same environment and validate your model, validate your input and iterate on the model to uh, uh, until the final result and the final validation of the application. So here we have uh, uh, all the packaging, uh, the final packaging of this application and here I will add uh, the three project generated projects to my uh, uh, working set view and here we can execute this uh, generated application just to show you that we are we generate from the same model using different technologies uh, and different uh, transformation workflow uh, so here I execute the application I will just put the, the right the right URL okay here and uh, okay and execute my application. So here I have uh, uh, um, I have a Flex application. So here you can see the customers, the details of customers. You can update a customer. You can create a new one, uh, add a new one, etc. You can delete customers, etc. So here we have all the customers management, etc. So from the same model, but using two different two different different products. The first one is M2 Spring with the HTML user interfaces. We generate the source code of the application, and the second one is M2 Flex, just to show you, just to demonstrate that model driven approach this can be used to specify by using UML diagrams the business requirements, business needs, business logic, etc and by changing the target uh, 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 technical generation strategies we can generate the same business processes on different technologies and here we have on M2 Spring the Spring implementation by using uh, 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 Strat, Spring, uh, all the Spring concepts, EOC, uh, dependency injection, uh, security, uh, transaction management implementation, etc. All these Spring implementations and design and, and best practices and implementation patterns are generated on the source code, and we use Hibernate for the persistence, uh, the persistence implementation for uh, this application. So uh, this is uh, the end of my uh, demonstration and presentation. So, if uh, uh, for more uh, more informations, uh, you can uh, go to uh, connect to our uh, 
to our website model to codecom you can ask for uh, trials for uh, licenses for uh, webinars at sales.com sales at model.com for model to code model to spring and model to flex thank you and uh, thank you for attention okay um right now we'll open up the lines for some questions if anybody has questions please feel free to put them into the chat or into the q a um as we are doing that we'll just wait for some to come in and um also here is our information for to get in touch with programmers paradise you, we can be contacted at info at programmers.com in the U.S., it's 800-221-7110. And we also have our Canada office at 888-423-2700. And it um, doesn't look like there are any questions, but if you do have questions, feel free to send them over to us, and then we will get them to Ahmad and um, the team to answer them for you. Thank you, everybody, again, for attending the webinar, and have a good day. Thank you again, Ahmad. Thank you.